Good morning, guys. Morning. Morning. How are you today? Yeah, bro. I feel better today. That's good. Did you get anything sorted out? Or did nah. you just chuck it in the fuck it bucket and move on? Yeah, that's exactly where it is. Yeah, fine. Fine, fine. This is what we're doing today. This is our last Zoom morning. Yeah? No. What's, does Sunday count? We'll laugh. But do Sunday. <laughs> it's too hard. Fair enough. Yeah, you're right. This is our last... 7 a.m. Zoom. 7 a.m. Zoom. It is. It's yeah. been fab. Yeah, I mean, when, it, when we went into lockdown and we were like, right, well, we'll have to do Zoom for about a month. So we'll, you know, we'll do we'll do a couple zooms, and then it was must it must have been about a couple of weeks ago now. We calculated how many zooms we'd actually physically done, and it was it was over three hundred. It was like three hundred and forty at the time, or something. And then whatever we've done since then. So yeah, but it's been good and. As much as it's been useful for those who have like needed it and been like, right, today's, today's a good day for me to do the 7 a.m. or today's a good day for me to do the 10 a.m. or just do the night class a little bit. It's been a really good structure for Sam and I. And, and uh, because I'm the sort of person that needs to constantly be doing something, um, I lost a wee bit of sense of purpose about a month into lockdown, but I didn't lose it all entirely because I still had this. So it was good been good for me this yeah. might be good for you but just so you know it's been very good for me <laughs> <laughs> well it's very much appreciated oh you're very welcome very welcome i think obviously because um we were only open for 10 weeks as well we were a bit like literally oh. <laughs> we, we will have no members now um so we very much appreciate you appreciate you guys staying to train with us even if it is virtually I'm very excited to show you guys all over there that are like, oh, I can show you now. Can't see much. I'm so excited for you to go up them wee stairs. Need a wee members area. It's bra. The petting zoo. <laughs> yeah. The petting zoo got a couple of sheep up there. Remember when I used to live in Elgin, I'd be like, oh, Shelley, I just want to, like, I wish I could just come and join your gym. Yeah. Now, have it. Now. Would you be like, oh, hen, I'm just needing a wee training session with you. I'll do anything for it. And I'm like, move to, move to Dayport. You're like, okay. It's <laughs> bra. So exciting. Okay, on my way, I'll just move around the corner for my mum. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, perfect. <laughs> right, what we're doing today, let's have a wee look. We'll get a warm up and then we're doing seven rounds. <clears throat> seven sit-ups, seven push-ups, seven ground to overhead, seven squats. Nice and easy. Yeah. Nice and easy. Okay, so all you'll actually need is a weight for the ground to overhead. And if you wanted to, you can use the same weight for your squats. Yeah? So let's get warm. Four minutes on the clock to begin with. We're going to go six squats. Just your regular squat into six Samson stretch. Into six rounds to overhead. On the floor. Now, for rounds overhead, you can either go to the shoulder and above head, or you can stand. So, either is absolutely fine. Do six of those and then into six tucks from the ground up to the shins. If you're still not warm enough in your abs for that, you can go to sit up to the Okay? So six squats, six Samson stretch, six ground to overhead, and six tucks. We'll do four minutes, then we'll move on to seven rounds that stuff's all very simple sit-ups push-ups squats and a grinder overhead which we're pretty much doing in your warm-up okay 
So let's get ourselves ready to go. What is it we're starting with? I forgot. 10 seconds. I just Let's go. Oh. 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 One of them black jumpers. With a black on black? Yeah. I like I've like got one. I like it. I'll have, I'll have a look in the shop. It really is just a rail that I hang clothes on and then call a shop. Uh, Vic, for your warm up, you're doing six squats, six Samson stretch, six ground to overhead, and six tucks. Actually, the out of lockdowns come like a little gym tradition of us doing deck of cards on a Monday night. Like that's always going to be a thing now, unless it turns into not being popular, but I don't see it. I can't see it not ever being popular. So that's a cool thing for a Monday night. Isn't it? Yeah, you'll, like, you'll, have, you'll remember it like, after Christmas night. You'll be like, remember? We started this in lockdown. Yeah, legit. Remember the reason that we, every Monday night's exactly the same is because in lockdown, it was the only way we didn't lose our minds. <laughs> yeah. I can say that she'd quite like to do a deck of cards. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday I was working and it was actually the best thing for me, you know Because you were busy. Oh yeah, I just, I love my work. Yeah. I was in my room, doing my thing. Yeah. Changing lives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, it was good. Yesterday, we, I laid vinyl flooring yesterday. Um, I don't really know how to lay vinyl flooring or any flooring for that matter. <laughs> but here Sam and I were with two cans of adhesive spray and a massive roll of vinyl. Oh. Uh, rest there, guys. That's you done. It actually went really well. We yeah. just made it really tight. And you know like when you pencil roll like that? Yeah. I did that up the middle of it to make sure it all will lay flat. It looks great. Yeah. It's, you feel right accomplished when you do stuff like that, eh? Yeah. And especially because we didn't even Google it. We just were like, right, fuck it. This stuff sticks stuff to the floor. And this is a floor. Let's just... <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. So and uh, we hung a door as well on my office. My office has a door. Oh, and I varnished the coffee bar. 
Okay. It's really simple. You do seven rounds of seven reps of sit-ups, push-ups, ground to overhead, whether you go to the shoulder and put it above your head, or from the ground straight above your head, and seven squats. So simple. You can use a weight for your ground to overhead, obviously, and if you want to, keep hold of that weight for the squats as well. Set up some push-ups as they are. Push-ups, you can go full, you can go on your knees, or you can raise the platform. Everyone just, you've done some tucks, but make sure you've got yourself set up for sit-ups. Do a couple push-ups, make sure you're okay with them and everything feels fine. You've done a couple ground to overhead, and do a couple squats, make sure everything feels fine, and then we'll go. We'll get ready to go in a minute. I'm in so much pain from the uh, posterior stuff yesterday. Yeah, so a few people have said, Hen, my butt's hanging off. Everything, and in fact, the top of my, um, my shoulders as well, the top of my back. That's so good. Everything, like, down. Everything oh, from the eyeballs back. Just back <laughs> down. I did, um, I ended up doing a YouTube yoga yesterday and it was like a deep stretch and I thought, oh, this will be me. I'll be fine. <laughs> you would have been written off had you not done that. <laughs> I'd have still been in bed. You wouldn't have seen me. <laughs> well, that's good. This is so good. Isolating bum stuff. Proceed your chain for the win, hen. I'm on for the butt. I'm on the butt. Right, I feel good to go. I feel, I feel good. Oh, I'm a bit tight though. <laughs> right, vic has got her weights ready. Vary looks like she's good to go. A wee glass of water in hand. Avril's already on the ground for the sit-ups. She is ready. And Jenny's putting on a playlist. Yeah. I got some plants yesterday. Bloody love plants. Sam's like, you can't put plants in a gym. And I was like, watch me. <laughs> I was like, mind the yucca as you come in. It's massive. Mind the yucca plant. Mind the sheep. Mind the plant. <laughs> Best you've ever man. Right. You ready? Let's get ready to rumble. 10 seconds. Seven rounds, seven reps, sit-ups, push-ups, ground to overhead, squats. Three, two, one, go! Fins up. Hi, Finn.
Great start, guys. Brilliant. You're basically doing this as an emom. <laughs> Awesome. Nice work team. Doing well, guys. Keep moving. Keep moving. Don't know why that beeped. Just keep moving. Add 15 seconds on to our finish time if you want to know it. Nice work, Vic. Looks good. Good job, Vary. Picking up a bit of weight in the squats too. Fridays, we've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, two hours, three days. Great job, Jenny. There he is. <laughs> Keep that cat of all away from that baby. Oh, he's got a Mickey Mouse. It's dressed as a bunny. Mickey Mouse. Thank you. Let's go, Vic. You got it. Good job, Avril. Avoid the wagging tail. Mm -hmm. Troy boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> He's like, I'll just leave right here. Is that okay? Is that okay with you? He does like carpet. Yeah. I'll just sit right here. Oh, bye again. Oh, he's such a good boy. Yeah, Avril just does full push-ups now. It's a bit of a weapon. Don't know if you've heard. Nice, guys. The clock stopped at four. I swear I put on 15. 
So yeah, you've actually been working for now seven minutes because it's 15 seconds away. Seven minutes gone, team. No, I just run. You know that. 15 seconds left. I just try myself. Cool as a cucumber. Cool as a cucumber. Awesome. Yeah, I think they're cool. Very cool. Looks great with that desk. Jenny, what round are you on? Five. Six. Got it. You know, smash it. These team not slowing down. Hashtag team no days off. Great work, guys. Really, really good pace this morning. Everyone's just getting after it. I think it's because the workout has like smaller reps. It's more rounds, but smaller reps. It's easy to batter through. Wow, yeah, because you just think, oh, it's only seven, so you just do it. Yeah. I mean, it's still 49 setups, 49 push ups, 49 ground overhead, and 49 squats. Yeah. But well, it doesn't seem like that. Awesome, guys. Well done. So maybe about a 10 minute work in total. It's your eyebrows, but can't itch them. Good rest. What are my cheeks and my eyes? Um, yeah. <laughs> so as I had itchy eyebrows. Oh yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, I can't itch my eyebrows. Let's go, Vic. We pat. Yeah, we tickly pat. <laughs> I, in the bed I woke up this morning and I was like half into the pillow and I was like, <laughs> check if my eyebrow was on my pillow. I'm scared. I feel scabby, no. No. Yeah, do you moisturize them? Yeah, the pan for yeah. the babe. She gave me this little mini tub and she's like, this is very special cream. And I was like, what? I was like, is it? She went, oh yeah, magic. And I was like, oh God, what is it? The pan <laughs> Yeah. Nothing. She was like, it's bipafol. And I was like, oh, <laughs> exotic. <laughs> she was like, yeah, the pan <laughs> And the tattoo cream. Yeah, and I was like, oh. oh. Ooh, I'll treasure it with my life. Let's go, Vic. Last squats. Good job. Oh, oh no. She got, she got another round to go. Yeah, but then that barbell there, I looked at that and was like, hmm. Oh, ground to overhead there with nigh on 45 kilos. She's a machine. Oh, it's a machine. I want some of that, though. You know what I mean? No, what? Vic was one of my first CrossFit girl crushes because she came in FFD and she could do everything already. And I was like, this is <laughs> I was like, well, I don't like her. 
<laughs> Obviously on steroids. <laughs> she waltzed in, banged out. It was actually cleans and pistols and workout. And I was like, well, <clears throat> well, I feel embarrassed. <laughs> uh, yeah. She's been at 57 North. Actually, yeah. That's where Vickard went, 57 North. Oh, was it? Yeah. Yeah, I lived in Elgin. So when I moved up there, before I fell pregnant, I was like, oh, do you know what? I wonder if you'd cross paths ever. Aye. Well, it's a 50 minute drive, but I really, like, my brother was obviously well into CrossFit and I just really wanted to do it. So I went and did my fundamentals there. Um, and nice. then I did it for like a month after. And then found out that I was like three weeks pregnant. Wow. So like five, and then my pelvis just totally was wrecked. But Left the building. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I just kind of stopped really. Nice pick. So four, 12, 12. But yeah, I liked it there, it was nice. That's where Scott started as well, wasn't it? Well done Vic, 12.44. Yeah, yeah, because when he showed up, Apart from the fact that I fell totally in love with him, I was like, oh, this guy's amazing. Are you going to the CrossFit Games? <laughs> he also then taught me how to do handstand push-ups and everything as well. Yeah, I was like, where is this 57 North place? Because it's churning out some absolute beasts. Yeah. It was the tiniest box ever. Like you'd never, like, it, like your box is absolutely massive. It was literally a garage. <laughs> It was not bad. Things like that as well, quite yeah. cool. But like, I mean, that's that's what a CrossFit gym was. A CrossFit gym was yeah. like a tiny wee abandoned warehouse where people had snuck in with a couple of kettlebells, <laughs> done some fitness and that. Whereas, um, Aber um, Inverness is about at, l at least half the size of Aberdeen, maybe smaller. Really, in Aberdeen, it's small. It really is small. Maximum class size to seven. Yeah. Well, I mean, so many positives with that, though. Being like seven in a class to one instructor. Um, yeah, absolutely. But like CrossFit gyms are constantly evolving into these big, massive. But before it was like you never needed that. Um, no. Now it's just a lot more popular. People aren't just out for themselves to go to the games. Like they're making a business out of it. Um, so yeah and like for us we could have just like this this unit that we're in now is two units we we got two units and uh where the ski ergs is that's where the wall should have been dividing the two units up and then when that like obviously this was a car park before and when they started designing them we just designed them with them and we we're like don't put that wall up we're gonna take two units um and it was just because we knew like one you still would have been like oh it's a decent size yeah. But you wouldn't have had showers, changing rooms, the way like yeah, the extra bits. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And then and then we had to think like it's 2020. People are paying the money for like David Lloyd because at one point they're actually getting a luxury experience. They show up clean and they leave clean. And like that was yeah. like a thing. But you can lay on our black floor in a white vest and it still be white. Like that's a thing. But I think for us it was like we don't want to move again. It's a great it's yeah, well, you want it to be accessible for people to come before work or whatever, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but otherwise, I was quite happy with, like, right, find me a wee cubby hole somewhere and I'll do some CrossFit. Yeah. Yeah, cr um, 57 North didn't even have a changing room. There was literally yeah. like a tiny little toilet, like one, you know, one computer use toilet and a wee office and then the, the actual, like, workout space. Yes. It was brilliant. I loved it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's it. You see, like, health and safety now. See the rule book that we had to follow. It's that thick. Oh, that's one. It's two. <laughs> There's two of them. And it's like, that just would not have flown. Even having, like, a one toilet that was unisex wouldn't have flown. Can't do it. No. Yeah. It's so difficult. It actually is. Like, the layout of our gym was completely determined by two giant rule books. That's how, however we wanted it, it has to be like that. So it's like, yeah, okay, fine, fine. But yeah, fine. fine. Yeah, um, well, anyway, thank you so much. Have a nice day at work, Avril. Thanks for joining us for our last 7 a.m. And um, 
If you're in later on tonight, we'll do a horrible workout Friday night because that's what we do. Very high, isn't it? That's what we do. You earn your wine. Say again, Avril. Still yeah. on mute. Still on mute, babe. Is it half past six at the gym on Monday morning? Yes. Six thirty. Yeah. See you there. Perfect. See you there. Um, okay. Yeah. If you can, guys. Can I see you tonight? Otherwise. Classes on Sunday, as usual, here, uh, Savage Sunday, and then yoga. And then as of Monday, you'll have a 10 a.m. Zoom if you want to join us then, or we'll see you in the gym. Monday yeah. on Zoom as well. We'll, we'll do deck of cards. Yeah, I was hoping to come up on Monday night at half six. I've booked on to it. Um, yeah. I'm so working you, five, but. Well, we're going to... And mark out the boxes today. Morning, Poppy. Oh. We're going to mark out the boxes today. So we may increase class sizes to 12s. So if you've went to book on and it's full, don't worry. We're thinking about putting it to 12 because we know we've got the space for it. And um, we just need to make sure that it logistically works with kit and stuff. Um, and uh, Or otherwise, you can join us on one of the Zooms or at the next class. Perfect. If you've got any concerns, let us know. Otherwise, we'll be sending out an email later on today giving you instructions on how to come to the gym, enter the gym, and the considerations you should take whilst there. That's perfect, Cher. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. Bye. Nice Bye. Later. Shelley, yeah? can I, I need to ask you about my membership because I'm on the three days a week membership, um, but there's a week where I'm not gonna be able to come in at all. So I need to like, I'll, I'll probably just keep coming like three days a week, but then uh, I don't know whether I like do an extra day or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, what we have, yeah. So obviously we have it as three times a week. We can, I think we can set it to a monthly total. Okay. So we, I can have a look at that, but otherwise if you wanted to come in four times a week for three weeks. For three weeks. Yeah. And then one week you're just not here. And that's fine. We'll just, um, I'll see if I can set it to that. Because the, like, the restriction's not, I wouldn't mind. It's a restriction is if Waterfowl let you book it. Yeah, no, totally. I'll see if I can. Um, I, I don't even know how my new work pattern is going to work if I'm going to be able to come in at all those mornings. I don't know. Yeah. But um, it's good to have the option. Yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a see how my uh, work pattern works once we restart and everything. But I might, yeah, have a monthly total would be really, really helpful. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll Brilliant. see if I can set it like that for you. I never, I've not done it before, but I know that loads of people use Waterfy and most gyms have a monthly total, so it must yeah. be an option. Brilliant. Well, thank you. Thanks, uh, Fab. Uh, I look forward to coming back into the gym. Yeah, be amazing. I'll speak to you later then, babe. I'll, let you, I'll drop you a message once I figure it out. Brilliant. Thanks. Bye. Okay, bye.